Well, it is unbelievable how much work it was to get these two LEDs to illuminate at the right time. It's one thing to get a LED to illuminate, but at the right time is a different story. So, the problem we had was that MAME, the arcade emulator, did not uh, support triggering these LEDs for the game Mousetrap, which is the game we're working on here. So, uh, I had to add support for the uh, Player 1, Player 2 LEDs to MAME. That was the first step. Uh, second step was to write a little Python uh, application that would intercept the LED commands from MAME and uh, send those commands to the GPIO port on the Raspberry Pi. So there's the Raspberry Pi. Those two uh, brownish beige wires are the uh, two LEDs. Uh, the black wire pl plugged into the GPIO is the uh, ground, and then there's the red one is uh, 5 volts, and the uh, other black one is another ground. So, I'll do a quick demonstration of this thing working. So I'm going to launch my uh, Python script that will launch MAME and launch my GPIO controller Python script. So here it goes. Oops. Would help if I launched the right. If I didn't edit it, instead I ran it. Do, do, do. Don't tell me I have to type this in. Oh, here it is. M trap Python. So this is the right script. Okay, there it goes. Game is initializing, and these LEDs aren't going to do anything yet. Let me turn off the lights so you can see nicely. Okay, it's initializing still. Okay, I'm going to insert one coin. Ready for this? Oh, it's going to be so spectacular. Oh, it works. And insert another coin. Beautiful. I'm going to start a game. Works perfectly. Exactly like the original hardware. Oops. I'm pushing the wrong buttons on my keyboard. Uh, another thing is I got MAME running at 100% speed on the Raspberry Pi by adding a accelerator command to it, to the command line. And there's a video Excel command that takes advantage of, of acceleration in SDL, which is kind of nice. Uh, so this game is only taking up 70% of the Raspberry Pi CPU. And uh, so let's see, when once the game's over... Let me insert some more coins, so it's going to have coins when the game's over. Right, let me die. Game's over. And LEDs light exactly as they're supposed to. Unbelievable. Well, it took a week for me to get that working, so it was not as easy as it looks. It looks like just LEDs lighting, but there's a lot more to it than that. Anyway, this game's close. I just have to wire up the control panel and uh, coin door. Um, I have all these... Uh... Here, I'll show you. So as I wire this up, I'm using the original harnesses here. Here's the harnesses. So I'm I'm creating brand new Molex here that plugs into the game uh, Molexes and controls everything so that it works just like the original hardware. And I'll put this together all nice and neat when I'm done. I'm have it torn apart for testing. So anyway, still work to do, but I think all the hard part is over. The rest is just uh, busy work. Woohoo! Mousetrap lives, and with no original boards when it first came to me. It's a miracle of modern technology.